YouTube and welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. I'm your host Khan and what we're going to do is this is part of the new series called Journey 2. So uh, I was going to start it at bronze but I played a few matches offline and well we got to silver I think tier 3. So for this it will be Journey to Gold. So this will document our fun little escapades as we try to get to gold tier in the Magic the Gathering rank system. Uh, today I'll be playing with my Demir Control. I call this version 2. I made a video about this before. Uh, this deck itself is kind of made for one best one ofs, uh, more so than uh, best of three, in which I would have a sideboard and I would, the deck, the initial deck would be a lot different because then I could, you know, run a little bit differently and based on what we play, we would change out cards. Like for instance, I'm more to ego, I would not run. But since there's a lot of uh, combo decks, Phoenix decks, a lot of mill decks in rank, uh, more ego is definitely something that you need to run to basically just to end, to end their uh, combos and give them a hard time. Now this is very, as I said, this is very similar to the deck I ran before. The only difference is I did take out Discovery, which I had two of, and I replaced it with Fallon and Renewal. And the main reason behind this is uh, for red decks. Usually anytime you come across red, they burn. You wanna make sure that you're not at 10 by the time you get to turn three or four, that you at least have a little bit more life. Because by the time we get to turn three, that's about the time where we can start countering and destroying creatures. So you wanna have as much life as possible. And found the renewal will definitely help with that. So as stated before, we're playing constructive rank, silver tier three. Let's hope that the magic gods are good to us. Shindor, okay. <clears throat> Been coming across a lot of weird decks, interesting decks, and we will not keep a one lander. No, 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 no. We're mulligan that. Ugh. I still don't like these lands, but if we can get to three lands, we'll be pretty much okay. Thought Erasure should help us to cycle with Surveil. Uh, let's keep it. Essence Scatter as much as I want it. I need a land. So we'll start off with Memory to Folly because it comes in tapped. And we'll see what we get next. Very curious. Oh, we're going against the red blue. This should be a lot of fun. So typically, if I do get Ego, the first thing I will go for is Crackling Drakes. Unless I see an Arc Light. And then we'll go for Arc Light uh, first. Crackling Drakes are very easy to take care of. Uh, with removal, but arc lights are not. So let's see what they are planning. What kind of deck they are. Ooh, Nico Bolas. Mmm, Eldest Reborn. They got a lot of good stuff. So Eldest Reborn gets Nico Bolas back. They play Nico at five. They got a hostage taker. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of Eldest. We will keep the land on top. And we will play a watery grave, and we will play the two life, so we can keep up sinister sabotage. Hmm. I haven't ran into many uh, bullet stacks, so this should be fun. I'm not sure. I'm guessing they tend to run counter spells, but I'm not sure. Now, we could mission briefing, thought erasure, and get out the bolus. Now, is this worth? Nah. We'll let it go, we'll let it resolve. I'll toss the card. I'm gonna to toss out. Since just have a touch, we always get it back with mission briefing. Otherwise. Otherwise, we would have just used it and it would have been tossed on anyway. But I guess we used, we used two and instead. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. Except for we're going to do Sinister Sabotage first. I want to get back. Thought it was. So, two bullets is down. 
two more to go. Come to think about it, I probably should have Sinister Sabotage, saved it. And then it's in, wow, my gosh, that's three bullets down. Jeez. Yeah, what we definitely need to do is we definitely need to get a more ego and get rid of the Eldest Reborn. Hostage Taker, yeah. Land at this point, I... I'll keep it. I'll just hold it in hand. If they get the fourth bullet, knowing their luck, they'll probably draw it next turn. We're at five. We need to go a little higher, but I'll hold on to the land. All right. We'll keep one in hand. We're at six. That's enough for a dream eater. And the gate. Doesn't help us. We will. Is that worth it? They get to cycle their deck. Yeah. We're not going to allow that. We're low on cards until we can get a full hand. Yeah, we can't let them get any type of advantage on top of us. So, yeah, think about that card. I probably should have. Wow, dude, back to back. Man, this deck, man. This is nuts. This is truly nuts. Okay, we do have Dream Eater. Alright, so let's start playing lands. We go with Dream Eater, his treasure map once he gets to two tokens. If I play Dream Eater, they cast down my Dream Eater. But I give Return with Memory to f Memorial to Folly. I think we're going to do that. We're going to make him use it. He gets it out of his hands. Oh, I want to Sinister Sabotage? That's fine. I'm okay with that. At least we know he has one. Okay. Okay. I need to see in this hand. I want to see in this hand. All right, he gets treasure map. Full draw. You want to counter this? Go ahead and counter it. It only benefits me. Interesting. Interesting. If you have that card. So if you have that card, then most likely you have Niv Mizzet. You most likely have Niv Mizzet. Okay. We'll take it. Good play. Good play. Good play on this part. Okay. Okay. He's tapped out. What do we want to go for? We can stop Eldest Reborn. We can't stop Niv. Eldest Reborn gets back a lot. 
you would think that they will run it, but if you're running that, you have to be running Niv. It only makes sense. Hostage Taker. Yep! You are running Niv. You have one Nico, and you have only one Eldest. Okay. Sinister Sabotage. Alright, I think we... I think we're good there. It only made sense. It only made sense. So they're gonna probably thought erasure. We will negate their thought erasure. Yeah, we're not gonna allow you to do that. You could do another one if you want, but we're not gonna allow you to take our Eldest. Not yet. Not yet. Hostage Seeker. Alright, makes sense. That's your only creature right now that you could do. You could use outside of Bolas. Let's see, what can they do? We Eldest, they can't do anything, they lose a card. Yeah, so we have, so we need seven, we have seven, we need at least two or three in a counter cell. So we got two coming through some sites that we could do at the end of their step to kind of fill up our hand. Which will allow us to play Neza Hall. Because then we could then protect them. We're gonna cast one. Oh, we don't have enough lands. Ah, we only have seven. I said that. Alright, so if we do Bolas. He uses one of his creature cards to destroy, which I'm okay with. He can exile his own bull off. I'm okay with that. And we're gonna let it go. He can exile, he or she can exile their own bull off. I'm okay with that. They're waiting to see if I transform it, which I'm not going to. I'm okay with that. We do need to find a counter of some sort. A Mord Ego. Mord Ego will allow us to get there. So now they only have one Bolas. Alright, see what they have in their hand. I got plenty of cards. I'm okay with that. We'll take it out. I'm okay with that. So... Bolas and Eldest. They have one more Eldest. That's the only thing that could take care of our Nezzle Hall. So let's get that out of their hand. Let's see what else they have. I know they have a bowl. Okay. So we have that. They have Thought Erasure still. So outside their Hostage Taker, we should be good. 
Yeah, because they could just get in her hand. Alright, let's get the one out of their graveyard, too. have any more counters? I guess we don't. Okay. We don't have any more counters. So let's act like we do have one by throwing that out. We'll fake it. We'll act like we have a counter. Even though we don't. And yeah. They quit. We took out most of their threats. They were uh, they were in trouble, which brings me back to my point of why I said in my other video, no one ever plays Unmoored Ego, and they should. Unmoored Ego is a fantastic card. It's made specifically for standard decks. Now, is Unmoored Ego going to help you towards, let's say, Weenie White Rush? Probably not. Uh, probably not as much. Um, it's going to help you against red, red deck wins like goblins. Uh, probably not. Not as much as it will help you against other decks. So, so I can see where there's arguments there. There's definitely arguments there for a Mort Ego. But Selesnya tokens, yes. March of Multitudes, goodbye. We don't have to worry about that. Tristani, goodbye. Your Eldest Reborn now works because Tristani is now going. Goodbye. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I would love to get this renewal out first, but we're not going to. I have to. I can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, I can. Dauntless. Ah, interesting. Dauntless to back up his other Dauntless. This is this is fascinating. Okay, uh, we're we could thought erasure, which would set up ego. But I think what we are in now, we're going to keep up a essence scatter. Adanto is the one thing that will be a pain to us. They're going to transform this. There's nothing I can do about that. I have no card destruction at this point. So, they have that. Will benefit us very, very, very much. Benelish. Oh, no. No, no, no. We can't allow that. We can't allow that. Another thought erasure. <sighs> hmm. We take five, we go down to eleven. They put down and make another token. I think we want to go with Adanto. Adanto is the one thing that we really can't deal with in this deck and I'm sure there's other other threats like a Johnny <laughs> and they don't run that interesting oh wait wait I oh my gosh I took the wrong Adanto didn't I oh you mother effer I saw Adanto for the first one and I clicked the wrong one oh my goodness that is that is the pun of a century folks we are the Cleveland Browns Lifetime of loss. Oh my. 
Not good. Not good. Not good. All right. Well, we're going to have to somehow try to figure out a way to come back. What saves this now ritual is Sith. The problem is we can't cast it for two turns because the Memorial Folly comes in intact. So that's 10 damage. So we go down to six. Not counting the uh, Johnny that's going to come out right now. This has life flink, right? So I don't know why you're not playing your Johnny now. Oh, we could do... Uh, we'll just press that. All right. So, we got nothing else to do. Conclaves, eh? Murder. We'll take that. <coughs> now, here's the problem. He does him. He does him. They're all on each other. Oh, goodness gracious. And that's what we wanted to prevent. There's nothing we could do. This match is over. This match is over. Even if I doom whisper the Conclave Tribunal, which does nothing for us. Two, four, seven, eight. That's eight. This right now. No, he doesn't protect anything. Nothing protects him. That's fine. Yeah, from the punt, we knew we were in trouble. We knew we were in a Benelish. Yep, that right there is the point where we scoop. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We can wait, but um, yeah, there's nothing we could do at that point. That was a definite loss. We played badly, including the messed up ego where we chose the wrong Adonto. We knew Adonto's vanguard. I don't even know which Adonto I chose. Bad. Oh well. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. This hand we're okay with. We have er we have an early murder. We have an early duress so we can see what they're playing. Get it out of their hand. Arc Light Phoenix. Okay. So if I cast that, they cast it anyway. Oh yes. We're gonna keep up the essence scatter for uh, Goblin Electromancer, but we need a ego. We definitely need an ego. They're going to try to start discarding arc lights. Yeah. The question is, do you have another one? The positive thing is that we do have. Of Raska, so we could get rid of one arc light. That is a positive. Well, one of them is going to go into their grave because they're going to cast it from hand. Should have let it come out and it should have Raska's contented it. I should have. Uh, that was on me. That was a mistake on my part. Okay. We'll do this one then. Alright, so they have one that we had to deal with. Yeah. Here it comes. So if they hit us, we're going to take it. They had to burn. Yep, they do. I'm gonna take the two. 
What are we gonna take? Oh, they got rid of two. Okay, so that's six damage. We're gonna take the six. We need to find an ego stat. And that is not an ego. Okay. This doesn't help much of anything. But it may help us. Oh, that doesn't help. Yeah. But we will take that Nib Mizzet, though. We will take that Nib Mizzet. So we will throw out the drowned catacombs so that we get chemistry's insight on the end of the turn. Burn it, don't burn us. If they come out with six, we're okay. Row, row, row. We don't want row. Can't have them cycling through their cards. Finding different ways. No, we can't have that. So we're gonna take three. Oh my goodness, man! Oh man! Yes, we're gonna take the Niv Mizzet. next turn we're going to draw two which will allow if they bring out more allow us to burn a radical idea so we're going to burn them to the face because it doesn't make sense for us to burn the arc light because it's only going to come back Drawing us, thank you. And now we're going to burn one to him, just one. As you can see, there are a lot, a lot of Is It Drake decks. So this is why I run Ego. We do come across goblins, but not, not as much as we do uh, Is It Drake's. I'm more to Ego. This isn't bad. I will keep this. We have early counters. We don't have early card destruction. So in one of the first iterations, we had more uh, card destruction. Uh, had uh, a few more ways of removal. But uh, found that I was coming across a lot of counter decks. And it was kind of useless. So what we want to do... See what they have in their hand. Where are they going for? Carnage Tyrants. Alright. Okay. Alright. So they come out with the Midnight Reaper or the Jade Light next turn. Okay. Carnage Tyrants are a problem. I will admit that. Carnage Tyrant. Oh gosh, yeah. Vivian Reed is definitely a problem. And they don't go with Vivian. Interesting. The 
this is definitely green black carnage tyrants we could take care of but right now would be a problem we need we definitely need a ritual if I get rid of jade lights carnage would be one threat carnage is at six they throw out another one they get in in two turns with if they get another land so we're going to take out the carnage turn first and then we're going to hope that we can get a ritual of soot for the uh the rest and then we're going to take a look at their deck and we're going to get rid of some other cards oh yes Vraska six okay Another Vraska, Wild Groves, yeah, and another Vivian. Okay. Yeah, we need a ritual set. That's gonna be the only thing that helps us right now. We need a badly. It's gonna give them a lot of card draw, but that's fine. I just need it to Oh, this does not help us. Outside of getting our own, oh, this does not help us. Yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, one more ego doesn't help us here. <laughs> and that is match, folks. That is match, wow. No removal, they were too quick for us. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Alright, let's get one more match in real quick. And then we'll call it. I don't like the two lands. We do have Ritual Sin in hand what I needed last game. <laughs> Funny. Um, I love how you mock me. Magic Gods. I really want to... Uh, I have a feeling we're going to be stuck on two lands for a while. Ritual Sin will help out a lot against White. Especially uh, Life Game White, yes. I will take that. Three. We're good. I'm okay with that. A Johnny's Primate at two. Oh no, I let her Leon in. Okay. We're not taking too much damage. Okay. We're gonna. There he is. Yep. Oh yeah, nothing we could do. So yeah, they're gonna flip legions. We're going to take five. A Benelish. Do we want to take the extra damage? We'll take the extra three damage. So we're going to take eight. So we get Ego, what do we want to take out? But first, let's get rid of their, their hand, their board. What do we want? Uh, huh. Is that another 
Benelish. That's fine. Good thought erasure. I think they're a soldier deck. I think. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's, let's take a look and see what they have in their hand. Oh gosh, Adanto. Yeah, we don't want you, buddy. Detection tower, we're not worried about. and we kept that one land. Another land will allow us to ritual sit again. Or will allow us to dream eater, which is another thing we could do. Mmm. What do we have? Nothing. 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 Yeah, the only way that land killed us. It tanked us. Alright, good game, sir. Or ma'am. Good game. We're gonna end on a loss. Man, that was a... Should've took the land. Ah, oh, well. It happens. It happens. Hindsight's twenty twenty, as they state. Okay. I don't know why you would do that, but okay. Whatever. Should attack the ball. I mean, I don't run anything normally that you would... I will take that. Briefing first, and then we'll set. Mission briefing is another card that a lot of people don't run that does not get its due. Let's see, we're at six. That will give us Nuzzle Hall. I'm okay with that. Nizzle Hall will give us card draw. The most they could do is make a token. So we're going to play Nizzle Hall. They may have something for him. We'll see. We'll see. Do they have a conclave? That's probably something we want to. Actually, Adonto is probably the one we want to get rid of. 
because we can't get rid of a Dante without exiling it. I'm okay with that. I should attack, but I don't know what they have. Yeah, yeah. We're going to choose We're going to choose Conclave Because that's the one thing I'm worried about Something that will put our creatures at bed Play the tribunal. There we go. What else do you have? You do have a bane fire. Fuck me. All right, bane fire is the next thing that we gotta get. can win this match. We can win this match. He attacks with fall, of course. He can't attack with all. Banefire saves him. As long as he does oh he doesn't even have red for Banefire. We're our, we're good in that sense. He has to sit back and he has to block. Even if he does that. He has to be able to block. Attack with all. 
we take out his token, we do damage to the thing. Ah, we filled it ruins. That's what we do. I'm an idiot. We filled it ruin. And then he has no tokens. Why did that chemistry in sight right now? I should have let him do the damage first. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, why am I not? Ugh, it's too late. Why am I playing this too late? It's way too late. Oh, thank God. My draw saved me. Oh my gosh, Whew. maybe next video I could play a little bit better. My goodness. Cheapy weebies. And I need a new chair, all that creaking. All right, I think that will bring us definitely to the end of the video. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Hope you enjoyed yourself and got a good laugh. Uh, at some of my... Uh, not so meta decisions uh, we will be back again uh, with more with our journey to gold video uh, if you liked and enjoyed please make sure you do all that good stuff hit that sub button we plan to start ramping up content on the YouTube channel and as always you can always find me on Twitch I stream Monday through Friday at ARGN So, uh, yeah, we will be back at definitely again. I think it was fun. It's, this is going to be fun. I don't know if we'll ever get to Mythic. Uh, it's a couple other decks I'm thinking about making that might help us with Mythic. The problem is you have to think of something that's very roundabout, something that could take on most of the meta decks and keep you in. I like Demir. Demir's the number one problem, of course. It's dealing with fast decks in the beginning, in the beginning, at least with the build that I have. Uh, you, if you're looking, you would have to get Golden's Demise. You have to get something that does negative, negative, like really off the bat. Uh, there's other, to there's a lot of things that you could play uh, that will help you in the early game. But overall, I think it will throw off the balance of the deck. It depends on what we play. If we tend to play more mid-tier decks like we all have been, I think uh, where we're at, the deck build that we have, outside of some minor changes, is uh, pretty good. 
at least good enough to get us to uh, gold and maybe hopefully platinum, we'll see. Uh, but it all, of course, depends on the person who drives it, who steers that deck. Uh, <laughs> so, but until then, until then, folks, keep gaming, stay safe, peace.